Okay, today I kind of wanted to show you one of my secret uh, when it's super windy or windy in general. Um, also, just a probably one of the nicest paddles that I've got that I've found around the Keys. And um, it's also really good during the summertime when it's super hot because there's a lot of trees, so a lot of shade. Um, okay fishing there's a couple spots with a lot of snappers and stuff but uh, I think there's a lot of uh, not a lot but for the Keys or Key West in general specifically it's a it's probably a better than average snook place um, I also utilize it for the summertime for uh, catching bait um, it holds uh, mullet and also get um, the uh, crabs the blue crabs out of there uh, that I use for either permit or uh, tarpon um, So it's a pretty good uh, little place to know. Um, it's a good uh, Half day jaunt if you want to spend a half day just getting out of the way um, Never see anybody up there. So but basically what it is. It's on big copy key um, so you leave Key West coming up here and you're going to take this Geiger key exit here which is right here um, just before you go over the bridge here um, you'll see there's an AM PM uh, on the right hand side and just right at the corner of where the AM PM is just make that right and you'll follow this road down and it's Boca Chica Road and you just stay on it don't turn just basically keep on it keep following it and eventually it um, actually dead ends I think right around here, um, they, the Air, Air Force has it um, blocked off, the road blocked off. But these are all um, a decent beach for the Keys um, all along here. And I think down here is there's some nudist beach if you wanted to go there. But otherwise, uh, you can park anywhere on this dead end road right here. And then there's a lot of cuts in the mangroves so that you could just basically uh, walk down a short distance to the beach and then launch from there. Um, and it's basically maybe about 50 yards just around this little point here to enter the Geiger Creek and that's basically the target area there. Um, I have this part of my uh, lower keys uh, kayak launches and you'll see the video with the parking space and how to walk down and what it looks like but basically just launch there make that left and then enter into this creek area here and just follow the creek. It's uh, it's starts out somewhat wide and then just keeps narrowing down and then as you'll see over here it actually is just the overhangs of uh, the mangroves so that's why I was saying during the summertime when it's super sunny and you want to get out of the sun and the brutal heat coming through here it's very nice to take it but you'll just follow these little finger channels all the way to the back you can't get lost because it's really even though there's these other off turns you really can't take them um, so you'll follow it all the way to the back and then you'll run into the um, it's basically gated off for the Air Force Base, but then you can make the right and just follow this straight away. It's a very narrow, maybe two two kayaks side by side could fit, but it's fairly narrow, but covered again, so you're out of the sun. And it basically opens up here and dead ends, and finally, it does dead end, it just opens up into this little culvert here. Um, in the video, you'll see me fishing. I'm basically right in this pocket area here pulls a lot of current and it's got the opening to this so there's a lot of stuff sitting right in there it's a little deeper spot there uh, great little place to go like I said it's a great little half day excursion um, very very nice place to go take a nice slow cruise paddle if you take the tides right you could probably even take an inner tube and follow with the with the tides as they coming in and push you all the way through and then when the tide changes it will suck you right back out so pretty nice um, like I said it's totally covered by the from wind so it doesn't matter if it's blowing 30 40 knots I could kill myself making this short little turn here but as soon as I make it inside here there you it doesn't matter how windy you won't feel it and you just can just cruise along like it's just another perfect day outside so if you ever want to check it out that's the way the place to go and I'll show you the video so you can kind of see what it looks like
Oh,